सकरे क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन Now in the given question, alkene is to be reacted with bromine to get compound A, and alkene is to be reacted with osmium tetroxide followed by hydrolysis to get compound B. The question is products A and B are. As we know, addition of bromine on alkene it involves anti-addition reaction. And reaction of alkene with osmium tetroxide followed by hydrolysis, it involves syn addition reaction. So in this case, addition of bromine on alkene that will be anti-addition to give this product, and as The reaction with osmium tetroxide followed by hydrolysis it involves syn addition to give this compound as the final product. So the correct answer is fourth option. Question number seventy-two. The question is again sequence of reactions are given in which acetaldehyde is to be oxidized to get compound A. Now acetaldehyde on oxidation it gives compound A. As we know, oxidation of aldehyde it gives acid. So there will be formation of acetic acid as the product A. Now acetic acid is to be further reacted with phosphorus and chlorine. Reaction of acetic acid with chlorine and phosphorus. This is HVZ reaction. The reaction is known as HVZ reaction, which involves substitution of hydrogen atom from alpha carbon by chlorine. So, in this case, in HVZ reaction, alpha hydrogen atom from uh, alpha hydrogen atom from acid will be replaced by chlorine to give this product as compound B. Now, next sequence. Compound B is to be reacted with potassium cyanide to get compound C. Reaction of this halide with potassium cyanide it will be nucleophilic substitution reaction in which cyanide will attack as a nucleophile to replace chlorine. To give this compound as a product C. Now acidic hydrolysis of this compound is to be carried out, and as we know, acidic hydrolysis of cyanide it gives acid. So this cyanide it gets converted into acidic group to give this compound as a product D, and this compound is known as malonic acid. So the correct answer is. Third option. This is the correct answer. Next, question number seventy-three. In question number seventy-three, oxidation of compound X gives a product which reacts with phenyl hydrazine but does not give a silver mirror test. The structure of X is. Now the question is, compound X. On oxidation. Gives a product that reacts with phenyl hydrazine, but does not give a silver mirror test. According to these two conditions. Oxidation of X gives products which reacts with phenyl hydrazine but does not give silver mirror test. Reaction with phenyl hydrazine is 
कैरेक्टरिस्टिक रिएक्शन ऑफ कार्बोनाइल कंपाउंड एंड कार्बोनाइल कंपाउंड कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स इट कैन बी एडिहाइट एंड इट कैन बी कीटोन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस कंडीशन इफ इट डज नॉट गिव सिल्वर मिरर टेस्ट इट मीन्स द कंपाउंड शुड बी कीटोन बिकॉज कीटोन्स डू नॉट रिएक्ट विथ टॉलेंस रीजन डू नॉट गिव सिल्वर मिरर टेस्ट इट मीन्स द कंपाउंड द प्रोडक्ट शुड बी अ कीटोन Now oxidation of X. If it gives ketone, it means the compound X. It should be two degree alcohol because two degree alcohol on oxidation gives ketone. If the compound is ketone, it can react with phenyl hydrazine. That is a characteristic property of carbonyl compound. And if as it is ketone, it doesn't react with Tollens reason to give silver minute test. It means the compound X should be two degree alcohol. Now in the given options, first is aldehyde. second is 1 degree alcohol third option is 2 degree alcohol and fourth option is again 1 degree alcohol as according to this sequence reaction compound x should be 2 degree alcohol so correct answer is third option this is 2 degree alcohol and that is the requirement of the sequence of reactions